I'm a junior at AHS and I like to mountain bike and go skiing in the winter. I'm out of Anacortes and this, I'm in the aerospace class with Mr. Leander. And I like to just sort of hang around at home, do a bit of uh, online gaming, and then also do a lot of uh, hiking, backpacking, stuff like that. So I'm Jason Leander and I teach the aerospace manufacturing program. I chose this over Running Start because I don't know. Uh, running Start seems a little boring. Like this is more hands-on and I did do things that I enjoy. So last year I did the uh, criminal justice program and I've just sort of been doing this since. You know, whether you are someone that wants to work with your hands to create and build complex uh, robotics, or if you want to build wings and build planes, there is something for you. And specifically here at this program, we focus uh, heavily on those skills. Mr. Lander is really fun. You guys see that? That's what we call vacuum pump oil. Okay guys, let's start unboxing these bad boys. You know, he brings so much energy to like his teaching and we just have a lot of fun in that class. Mr. Leander is a great teacher. He's really fun to be around. He really makes sure, he, he does get it on his little side tracks, but almost everyone does. And he, he's like, he's like the, a lot like the rest of us. He's a bit of a scatterbrain, he helps. But we always manage to get back on track, get our stuff done, do it well. He always makes sure we're well supported and we're all sort of on the same page and we all understand the material and he keeps the class a lot, very fun. Any instructor here at the NCTA gets excited about the opportunity to teach students that want to come and learn a skilled trade. Um, to learn a trade where there's a, a high demand in our, in our area. It's really what it comes down to. So you get students that want to show up, that want to learn something and that's, that's, that's really what it's all about. That's, that's the fun part right there, is teaching students that want to learn. Um, the class is really fun. We're usually more out in the lab for most of the day. We do a little bit in the, in the classroom, which I enjoy being out more, working with my hands. And then what you want to do without spilling is you see how you got the minimum and the maximum? So you want to have it in that sight glass right there. Look at that. Look at Francisco, just don't spill it. Class itself is very fun. We do a lot of like working with resin and components, but then again, we're all, and then we're also gonna be looking and doing riveting and stuff later on, which is not something that you'd probably normally do in a high school shop class. You're not gonna be pulling out a lot of chemicals and fiberglass to make this cool component. We also have a lot of mater uh, different materials and tools that you'd probably not normally find, like pneumatic drills and stuff. Ideally, after this, I could maybe get a spot at like Boeing or, or a Janicky here in Skagit County, which would be really cool. And I think that's what I'd like to do after high school. I hope to get a job at a corporate air center. Uh, I have family friends who work there and I'm hoping on getting a job there. So this would help me getting a step up there. For any of the incoming, whether you're a sophomore or even a junior this year, what I want you to know is you don't have to worry if you don't know what you want to do in life. You can have things you enjoy and things you want to do, but if you don't know what your career path is, that's okay. Not many of us do in high school. However, there are opportunities out there for everybody. 